Dr. King stated that the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. You see, great leaders aren't great because they avoid conflict and pressure, but how they respond under pressure is what makes them great. Anyone can be great under ideal circumstances when everything is going right, but it takes someone with courage, poise, faith, and determination to go through the fire and not be affected by the fire. Great leaders aren't affected by the odds. They just play with the hand they are dealt with and make the most of it. They aren't affected by what it looks like because they realize that the present results aren't the end results. Some people melt under pressure, but there are some who perform under pressure. Great leaders come alive in adversity. It becomes the spark that lights their fire. When it's crunch time, they don't break down, they break through. The question is, what type of leader are you? What type of leader are you in your home, school, community, church, or workplace? Mediocrity is easy to settle for because it requires less effort. But if we want to see a change in these areas of our lives, we must learn to allow the pressure that comes from being a leader to make us and not break us. I'm Minister Slugger, and this has been The Word on the Street on 94.5 The Beat.